Our solar system has a new visitor, 3i Atlas, an object from another star system. It's only the third confirmed interstellar object, after Oumuamua and 2i Borisov. Unlike Oumuamua's mystery, 3i Atlas looks and acts like a typical comet, giving us a rare chance to study a piece of another solar system up close. Discovered in July 2025 by the Atlas Telescope in Chile, it was moving at over 130,000 miles per hour, far too fast to be bound by our Sun. Its hyperbolic path means it's just passing through, destined to return to interstellar space. The comet's visible coma, gas and dust released as it nears the Sun, shows it's made of ice and rock, much like comets from our own system. This suggests that comets in other star systems might be built similarly, hinting at universal processes in planetary formation. The existence of 3i Atlas supports the theory that many small bodies are ejected into interstellar space during planetary system formation. These objects wander the galaxy for billions of years before, by chance, passing through systems like ours. Studying 3i Atlas is like examining a fossil from the birth of another star's family of planets. It's a fleeting opportunity to learn about the building blocks of distant worlds. Each interstellar visitor is a cosmic time capsule, carrying secrets from its home system. We must seize every chance to study these rare messengers. Who knows what new insights they'll reveal about our place in the galaxy. The James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, is our most powerful tool for studying the universe. And now, 3i Atlas. On August 6, 2025, Webb's near-infrared spectrograph dissected the comet's light, revealing its chemical makeup in unprecedented detail. Unlike a simple photograph, Webb's infrared spectra provide a molecular fingerprint showing what ices and gases are present. Is there water ice, carbon monoxide, methane, or ammonia? Webb's data will answer these questions. Earlier images from Atlas and Hubble showed the comet's structure, but Webb's analysis tells us what it's made of. The combination of Hubble's images and Webb's spectra gives us a complete picture, both the where and the what. Webb's sensitivity allows it to detect faint molecular signals invisible to ground-based telescopes. By comparing the ratios of elements and isotopes in 3i Atlas to local comets, we can test if comet chemistry is universal. If the ratios match, it suggests similar formation processes across the galaxy. If not, it hints at exotic origins. Either way, Webb's observations are a critical piece of the puzzle. This is science at its best, using our most advanced tools to unlock the secrets of a visitor from another world. The data from Webb will shape our understanding of interstellar comets for years to come. Every spectrum brings us closer to answering the big questions about our cosmic neighborhood. Just as scientists were getting comfortable with 3i Atlas, it surprised everyone. During a lunar eclipse in September 2025, astrophotographers in Namibia captured the comet glowing emerald green. The green color in comets is usually caused by diatomic carbon, C2, which fluoresces under sunlight. But earlier data suggested 3i Atlas was poor in carbon chain molecules. So why the sudden green glow? One theory, as the comet nears the sun, it heats up, exposing new layers rich in the parent molecules that produce C2. Alternatively, cyanide, Cn, could be responsible, as it's also present in the comet's coma. The green glow might even result from a unique chemical mix not seen in local comets. This sudden change is a clue to the comet's internal structure and chemistry. Only detailed spectral analysis will reveal the true cause. The green glow is more than a pretty sight, it's a scientific mystery. Each new observation challenges our assumptions about interstellar objects. 3i Atlas is revealing its secrets layer by layer. The universe loves to surprise us, and every surprise is a new opportunity for discovery. The study of 3i Atlas is a global effort uniting observatories on Earth and in space. Hubble provided early images while NASA's SphereX mission scanned the comet in near-infrared, offering a broader context. SphereX's all-sky survey complements Webb's detailed spectra, helping track changes in the comet's activity over time. Even Mars rovers are attempting to observe the comet from the Martian surface providing a unique perspective. Missions like Europa Clipper and Parker Solar Probe contribute data from across the solar system. The SOHO spacecraft will track the comet as it nears the Sun. This multi-observatory approach is essential. Comets are dynamic and unpredictable. By combining data from many sources, we build a comprehensive, multi-dimensional movie of the comet's journey. Only through collaboration can we unravel the mysteries of this interstellar visitor. 3i Atlas is on a dramatic high-speed arc through our solar system. 
As of September 2025 it's racing inward, having crossed Jupiter's orbit and picking up speed. The comet is about 7 miles wide, large enough to put on a show as it nears the Sun. Key dates, a close flyby of Mars in October, then perihelion, its closest approach to the Sun, on October 29th. This is when the comet will be at its brightest and most active, revealing more about its inner composition. In December, it will make its closest approach to Earth, still a safe 700 times farther than the Moon. It won't be visible to the naked eye, but telescopes will capture its final act. After that, 3i Atlas will speed back into interstellar space, never to return. This fleeting visit makes every observation urgent. We have only months to study this unique object before it disappears forever. Each moment counts in our quest to understand these cosmic wanderers. The clock is ticking on this interstellar encounter. We must make the most of it. Green comets aren't new. Recent years have seen several like ZTF and Ponce Brooks glow emerald in our skies. In local comets the green color comes from diatomic carbon, a well-understood process. But 3i Atlas is different, it's from another star system. If its green glow is also due to C2, it suggests comet chemistry is universal across the galaxy. If not, and another molecule is responsible, it means this visitor is fundamentally different. Either way, the implications are profound for our understanding of planet formation. The green glow is more than a spectacle, it's a scientific question of the highest order. We must not jump to conclusions. Every detail matters when the universe sends us a messenger from afar. The arrival of interstellar objects like Oumuamua 2 I Borisov and now 3 I Atlas has opened a new era in astronomy. For the first time, we can study physical samples from other star systems. Each visitor is a time capsule carrying clues about distant planetary nurseries. Their diversity challenges our assumptions and expands our understanding of what's possible in the galaxy. The hunt for these objects drives innovation in telescopes and survey systems. Global collaboration and rapid response are essential. These messengers don't stay long. By analyzing their composition, we learn whether the building blocks of life are common across the cosmos. Even if they don't carry life, their chemistry may hint at universal processes. These silent messengers may be telling us the universe is more hospitable to life than we imagined. We must keep searching, keep listening, and keep learning. The next interstellar visitor could change everything.